Heck yeah. 308. Ah, oh, it's perfect right there. Today we came out, we combined two of the most famous holes on tour and brought in two top PGA professionals. And we created a supernatural par four out of hole 16 and 17 at TPC Scottsdale and had these guys play it. You know, two crazy holes, 16, 17, where a lot of the action happens during the actual tournament. You know, I mean, you see a lot of birdies on both holes. Two relatively short holes, becoming one, I guess, pretty monstrous par four going over the grandstands. Coming into it, you know, you thought, okay, you hit a drive over to 17 fairway and you move on. From the tips of the 16 to the fairway of 17 is a lot tougher than what we all thought. So um, to make it as a par four is actually going to be very challenging par four. I think we might need to go down 10. All right, yeah, maybe just pump one over there. Well, going out there, I thought I'd be able to hit it down 17 fairway. I guess I never really realized how far of a walk it is from the, you know, the championship tee boxes on 17 before you get to the fairway. I think the main plan uh, when I stepped back there was getting a line to hit it over the grandstands. That was down the right side of the 10th fairway. Right? Yeah. You know, the first, first and foremost, I needed to get the shot in play, the first shot. So the fly all the way to the fairway was going to be about 310 yards, which we didn't have. So the biggest realization was you had to go, to, go left. You know, you had to hit it kind of down 10, get it on some grass over there, and, uh, and play it from there. I'm in the 10th fairway. This was the route to go. It's about as good as I could hit it off the 16th tee. I thought I was a lot closer than Parker over there. Turns out hitting it solid down 10 fairway, we actually had about four less yards. I got a four iron. I figure if I get this on the green, I got a little winner winner chicken dinner. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Little bail out right. Little Is bail out. Enough? I think I might got green though. Way, headed for 17. Get right. It's off the screen. Get right. <laughs> oh, that's perfect right there. Rick, it looks like you know one of these drives that I hit, tried to hit like 200%, you know, on this 100 yard wide uh, landing area, ended up here in this in this uh, dormant Bermuda grass. You know, I really like your miss hit here. You know, yeah. it's just it, it was so bad that it's so good. <laughs> Well, 197 yards coming out of the 10th fairway. Landed just short of pin high. Ended up about uh, 18, 20 feet. Yeah. So, not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy about it. Get myself a good look at birdie. And uh, unfortunately, Parker liked my shot so well, he decided to leave because he knew he couldn't beat me. Oh. Oh. I didn't read enough break. Still got the one shot lead going into 18. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, to recap it all, I think if we step up, on the, up onto the tee, probably a 460 yard hole, bombed a driver, ran the fairway, grabbed a four iron from about 198 yards, hit it to about 18, 20 feet, missed the putt, but still got away with a two putt, and we'll take a, we'll take a par on that hole. Pars never kill you in this game. <laughs>